Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing yet another unusual discovery from really far away of an unusual galaxy that seems to actually, instead of creating more unusual mysteries and problems, potentially present a very important resolution to several mysteries at once. Because for the first time ever, the scientists have actually detected a very intriguing galaxy in the extremely early universe that possesses important properties which may potentially explain why so many unusual galaxies have been discovered by the James Webb in the last few months. But before we talk about the discovery, let's briefly go through some of these discoveries from the James Webb that created a few concerns for the modern science. And actually one of them we've talked about extremely recently, the six discovered galaxies that you see in this image, which seem to possess properties indicating that these were massive galaxies, well-developed galaxies, but galaxies that existed approximately 700 million years after the beginning of the universe. And so how such massive and such developed galaxies could have formed so early on in the universe is of course not something a lot of scientists can answer right now. But the other mystery is of course in regards to black holes, specifically supermassive and ultramassive black holes that have been detected in the last few years. And that's because most modern theories cannot physically explain how such massive black holes could have formed and grow so fast in order to acquire billions of solar masses in a period of just a few billion years. And some of these massive black holes have even been discovered really, really far away, with certain explanations even suggesting that maybe these black holes have actually existed right at the beginning of the universe and were already very massive even as the universe just began. These are so-called primordial black holes with more exotic alternative explanations, even suggesting that, well, maybe the universe never really had a beginning, and maybe all of this is just a sign that the universe was always there and has never really expanded anywhere. This is known as the steady state model of cosmology, and in one of the videos in the description, I briefly discuss why this particular idea doesn't actually make a lot of sense anymore based on all of the observations. But the massive black holes, the existence of relatively well-developed galaxies early on, or even an extremely recent discovery of yet another galaxy that existed about 1.4 billion years after the formation of the universe, but was already relatively high in metallicity comparable to our own sun, or basically suggesting that it was already extremely complex chemically, all of this together creates a bit of a problem. With the problem being that the modern observations seem to contradict previous predictions and specifically the predictions based on various simulations. It looks like stars, galaxies, and black holes seem to somehow grow and develop much faster than anyone ever predicted. And so for the past few months, a lot of scientists have been actually struggling to explain all of this, and specifically because of discoveries like this. The detection of these objects definitively shows that the early universe was way more mysterious than anyone ever thought. But on top of all of these discoveries, the scientists have also been making other discoveries of other unusual galaxies, some of which have only been identified relatively recently. For example, in one of the videos in the description, we've also discussed the detection of so-called red spirals, the galaxies that are very rare in the local universe, but seem to be very common early on. We don't really know much about them just yet, but their presence in early universe implies, of course, that early galaxies were just very different from anything we have today. Similar conclusions can be made from the detection of so-called green pea galaxies, the relatively rare type of galaxies that were only discovered about 10 years ago, which were also much more common in the first billion years of the existence of the universe. And of course, which once again suggests that in order to answer all of these mysteries of supermassive black holes or well-developed galaxies early on, we kind of have to make an assumption that the first billion years of the universe was actually filled with a lot of different galaxies and different objects that we still do not really understand or to some extent cannot even imagine. And that sort of takes us to this new discovery. A discovery of a very distant galaxy that potentially might resemble something like this, but not necessarily exactly like this, representing what seems to be the most powerful and the most active starburst galaxy that has ever been discovered. But more importantly, a very difficult to detect starburst galaxy, once again discovered pretty much by accident. And a galaxy that sort of resembles this, as seen by ALMA, the radio observatory located in Chile, because for the most part this galaxy would be invisible in a lot of other frequencies. And that's because it's not really like this at all. It doesn't resemble any of the typical galaxies we usually see around us. Instead, it seems to be some kind of a very, very large, extremely active dusty blob with something very powerful in the middle, 
but also huge amounts of stars generated within the dust. And so maybe to some extent it would resemble a kind of a extremely large nebula, but in this case a nebula that's also very difficult to see. But within this nebula, the star formation seems to be approximately 1000 times higher than inside the Milky Way galaxy. And because there's over a billion solar masses of dust inside of this galaxy, it seems to be able to produce huge amounts of stars very quickly, and will thus most likely lead to an extremely developed galaxy within just a few hundred million years. Or in other words, it's basically a galaxy that's being developed super super quickly and is producing huge amounts of stars and huge amounts of energy. But on top of this, there are also signs of a very very large growing supermassive black hole in the center. A black hole that's producing its own light, but the black hole that's actually kind of difficult to see because of all of this dust. And this black hole already represents some kind of a novel discovery, a new type of a primordial black hole that seems to be entirely hidden by dust. And normally detecting a very bright black hole at this distance would qualify it as a type of a quasar or a blazer, essentially an object whose jet we can see from really far away. But these objects are never really covered by dust, which is why we can see them. Here, however, the dust makes the black hole almost invisible, with the jet only visible because it's able to go through some of this dust and creates a bit of emissions on the side. But when comparing this to some of the modern galaxies, including various Star Wars galaxies like the antenna that you see right here, they do generally seem to have very similar properties, a lot of starburst activity, and of course a black hole somewhere in the middle producing a lot of light. The only difference is that these galaxies are not even close to being as active as the one detected in the early universe. The star formation in this galaxy is at least 10 times higher than in a typical starburst, and the black hole is a lot more active as well. But apart from this, there's also a very important statistical observation. This galaxy was discovered in a very small patch of night sky, one tenth of an area of the full moon, which actually implies that there could be thousands if not more of similar sources all over the early universe. And that would be way more than quasars, and would be enough to explain how so many massive black holes were formed early on, but also how certain galaxies developed so quickly. But because these are essentially shrouded in dust and are so difficult to see, that's basically why the scientists have not seen them up until now. In the local universe, these are very easily visible, and are generally some of the brightest objects in the night skies, but at these distances, it seems that you can only detect them in certain frequencies. And so the direct observation of these objects can actually provide us with a lot of potential answers to a lot of potential problems of modern cosmology. Although comparing this galaxy to some of the local galaxies, such as Zwicky 296, another starburst galaxy with very similar features, would help the scientists figure out how these early starburst galaxies were different from the ones much closer to us. And so even though nobody expected to find this object in the early universe, it was technically proposed as a potential explanation solving the mysteries of massive black holes and of course solving the mysteries of well-developed galaxies in the early universe, implying that this right here could finally explain the detection of so many strange galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope, with the study itself as always in the description below. And so discovering more of these similar objects would very likely help us explain a lot more. For all we know, the early universe was actually filled with these objects, and many of them, as they developed, may have been responsible for all of these detections that at the moment are otherwise somewhat difficult to explain. But we'll probably be talking more about this in some of the future videos once the scientists have some additional explanations or additional discoveries. Until then, thank you for watching, check out all of the links in the description below, including other relevant videos, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.